Tarash Defense, Two Knights, Rubinstein, Prague, Carlsbad, Advance Variation, 10.NE5B6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. By using the e-pawn to protect the key d5 pawn, e6 rejects the queen's gambit. Nc3 puts more pressure on the d5 square and helps control the e4 square. The Tarash defense starts with c5 which immediately attacks the d4 pawn. Cx d5 releases the tension between the c4 and d5 pawns, creating an asymmetrical pawn structure. X5 recaptures the pawn and controls the e4 and c4 squares. Nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. The pawn on d4 is attacked, the knight moves toward the center, and the e5 square is under the control of nc6. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. nf6 develops the knight toward the center, supports the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The bishop is developed by bg5, and the knight on f6 is attacked. c4 gains space on the queen side, releases central tension and controls the squares b3 and d3. Ne5 centralizes a knight and unblocks the g2 bishop. b6 develops the bishop toward the center and protects the pawn on d5. This threatens to kick a bishop. This reveals an attack on a bishop. This threatens to fork pieces. It is the last book move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is excellent. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to kick the queen. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. This can indicate that a queen was attacked. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This is the only good move. 
it is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. There was only one good move there. This ignores a better way to move a queen to safety. It is a mistake. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is quite good. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This misses an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This allows the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. This enables the adversary to remove the king from the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This puts a rook behind a passed pawn, helping escort it to promotion. It is excellent. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. That's good. This avoids the pawn's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game. That was a free pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.